What is going on everybody, AMB Coinbuster here back with a brand new High Limit Coinbuster video for you all today. And in today's episode we're going to be doing a $25 million buy-in and they only gave us 25 quarters to start out with today. Very, very expensive and risky game so I'm hoping these 25 quarters is enough to get this to go. Oh nice, that right side's already going. Sweet, we got like two or three quarters back. Let's put the rest of them in there. All right, let's check this out and see what we got so far. We got three, four quarters back. Nice, there goes a bunch more. So there's the three quarters we just pulled out of there. Uh, let's see, I'm thinking we should put them like in the center. That way it'll push the left and the right side both. Oh yeah, look at that, that's gonna be a good one. Nice, look at that, we're already getting some cash out of there. Got a couple $20 bills. Here's where we're at on quarters, so we're doing real well. Uh, let's see. They got like the world's largest. Well, I wouldn't consider that the world's largest poker chip tower, but it's definitely a massive one. It's made out of $10,000 chips and $5,000 chips. It's completely filled with quarters in the center of it. I know you can't really see that right now, but yeah, it's definitely filled with quarters. All right. So, well, speaking of quarters, we definitely we're definitely going to have to start. You know winning more quarters back because we're getting real low on quarters now it's all we got left right there so wish me luck everybody let's just uh, push across the whole field all of them at once and see what happens oh yeah nice there we go that's what I'm talking about yeah there's a ton of cash we're getting a lot of hundred dollar bills twenty dollar bills it's doing real well and that's where we're at on quarters so probably I'd say at least 20 quarters back out of the 25 we started with. Plus, we're also making some good progress on the tower on the pressure. And uh, we're getting tons of quarters and cash to go on the lower shelf. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, wow. That was a huge push there. Jackpot, baby. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of quarters in cash. It's doing real well. That's where we're at with our quarters now. All right, let's see. I mean, it'd be nice if they had some $1 chips hidden in there. If we win, you know, like say one $1 chip, that would be worth 500 free quarters. So. Oh, nice, there we go. We got a huge push on that right-hand side. It's doing really, really well, you all. All right, so that right there is where we're at on quarters. We're doing pretty good, I guess. So let's continue pushing. I'm hoping this big old gigantic tower on the pusher decides to go. Oh my goodness, there's so much cash on the edge, and look at that, there's a $1 chip about to go. See it over there on that left-hand side? That is extremely close. Oh yeah, that was a nice push there, wasn't it? That was a ton of money we just made. Alright, so let's get that loot chute cleared out, we'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back, so check this out. We ended up getting one $1 chip, so there must have been one on the right side or in the center. But there's definitely one right there on the edge about ready to go. So anyhow, let's go ahead and turn this in. They'll give us 500 free quarters. Be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $1 chip. They gave us 500 quarters. Oh my goodness, look at that. That entire tower is falling apart. Oh my goodness, wow, look at that. Jackpot, baby. That is what I'm talking about right there. Wow, that was a super massive avalanche of $5,000 chips and $10,000 chips. They had a ginormous dollar sign money mystery bag hidden in there as well. That is awesome. And check it out, we got two more $1 chips. I just picked those up out of the blue chute down there. But all this is stuck on the edge here, so we'll really need to try to win all this out of here. Yeah, we're going to make some good money today, so be sure you leave a like on the video if you're enjoying it. Let's aim for 10,000 likes on this episode. 10,000 likes. I know we can get there. Just need everybody watching to hit that thumbs up button. So let's see. What do they got on the blue shelves today? It looks like on each side they got five towers. So... There's 10 towers in total made out of $10,000 and $5,000 chips. Yeah, the orange chips, I mean, it says the value on there. You can see it right there. Uh, those are all $10,000 chips. And the purple ones, the pinkish purple chips, those are all $5,000 chips. I'm sure most of y'all already know the values of the chips. And I know there's new people watching the channel every single day, so... 
and they may not know exactly how the game works and what the different tips mean and stuff so I try to explain it keep everybody informed on what's going on I don't like leaving people in the dark if that makes any sense you get what I'm saying now let's just try to uh, get these five thousand dollar chips to get going and we should be able to get them here soon I would think We'll turn in those other two one dollar chips here in just a second. They'll give us a thousand more quarters. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Now but I'm really, really looking forward to getting all these towers that are on the blue shelves. Really, really looking forward to it. Yeah, it would be super nice if this center right here decides to go and break free. Yeah, I'd love to see all those $5,000 tips fall down. So anyway, um, I forgot to point this out. They got uh, 10 dice in there in total. There's a dice on top of each one of these towers here. The white dice, those will multiply our poker chips and cash by whatever they land on. And the gold dice, those multiply our uh, gold bars. So, and there's a gold bar on top of each one of these towers here, so. Yeah, hopefully we can, you know, at least win our $25 million back today. I'm not sure why this game was a lot more expensive than normal. Maybe because of all the dice being in there, like on top of the towers and stuff. It's really hard to tell. But anyway, I think we should go ahead and turn in the two $1 chips, get our thousand quarters, and uh, we'll get right back to pushing. We'll try to get all this stuff out of here. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned, y'all. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in the two $1 chips. They gave us a thousand extra quarters. Oh my gosh, that left side is starting to go. Look at that. We're getting a ton of $10,000 chips. We're also about to get a ton of $5,000 chips in the center. Yeah, I think it's just slowly going to break free. Once all this money falls right here that is stuck on the edge, it's all going to go. I doubt anything else will have any trouble falling down into the pouch chute. Oh yeah, there it goes, jackpot baby. We're making it rain today, that's for sure. Making a boatload of money. Oh yeah, look at that. Mega push right there. So many five and ten thousand dollar chips. So at least we got the left side and the right center area to break free. Now we just got to get the left center a little bit. I'm hoping we can we can get that uh, dollar sign money mystery bag. Those are usually loaded up real good. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just raining five thousand and ten thousand dollar chips. Let's clear out that payout sheet. Getting real full. Wow, there's so many quarters down there. We've definitely racked up on quarters today. So anyway, on yesterday's game, I think we ended up winning uh, 12 dice in total. I think it was like... I can't even remember. It was like six white dice and six gold dice or something. Honestly, I can't even remember. I couldn't even tell you. I play so many of these games, it's hard to keep track of each and every single one of them. But anyway, uh, basically, they accidentally they this employee said it was an accident, but. The security camera said otherwise. So basically, let me just try to explain this the best way possible. I'm trying to concentrate on getting all this right here in that mystery bag, and it's kind of distracting me a little bit. I'm just really excited about winning all this money that's on there. There's definitely a lot of it today. But uh, anyway, basically, that employee had put two dice that belonged to us. That employee, like, took two dice, and he, you know, like 
tried to hide them or something like that. He put the dice in his pocket when he was supposed to put those extra dice on the pressure back there for us to roll them on down to the lower shelf. And honestly, I didn't even notice, you know, until it was too late. I was already home recording the video. I mean, editing the video, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was home editing the video, and I, I seen, I counted up all the dice we had won, you know, throughout the game and stuff. And, uh, I realized, I was like, wait a minute, there's two dice missing. I think there should have been 12 dice in total, not 10 dice. And then, you know, I told the manager about it, and it turns out that employee had took two of the dice away from us. I don't think the employees get, you know, much commission if, you know, if people win lots of money, you know what I'm saying? They get more money when people, like, lose, you know what I'm saying? So, technically, the employees get a little bit of money when the customers lose money. So, that's why the employees, you know, like, try to cheat us out of money sometimes. It's all because they're looking for their payday as well. You get what I'm saying? Alright, well I'm going to try to get this mystery bag out of here. As of right now, it's like stuck on the edge. I'm hoping we can get it. I'm also just going to push like normal for a little bit. Just put a couple handfuls of quarters in there at a time. Try to get some of these excess quarters back that are stacked up in there. Try to make some good money. $10,000 chip on the left corner is approaching the edge about ready to go. Nice, there we go. We got that mystery bag. It fell straight out of there into the payout chute. It got, uh, just about got stuck, like down in here, but it, the quarters pushed it out of there. It's stuck on the edge for a long time though. At least, what, five minutes or so? Yeah, sometimes I'll edit out boring parts of the video, and uh, it'll make it seem like, you know, we've been playing for less time than we actually have, you know what I'm saying? Like, say if we've been playing 30 minutes, I might edit out uh, 14, 15 minutes of boring footage. So, basically, it looks like the game is, you know, going by twice as fast as it actually is. So, that's how that works. Alright, so anyway, we'll worry about winning this 10 grand later on. But anyhow, let's go ahead and check out that mystery bag. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Here's that mystery bag. Let's go ahead and check it out. See if they got anything nice and valuable in there. I'm hoping it's loaded up real good today. Oh my goodness, indeed it was. This was one of the best mystery bags we've gotten in a while. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of $1 chips. Let's see, that's 2,000 quarters right there for $1 chips. It's 2,000 extra quarters. I will take that. We got the $5 chip, which means we get to turn this in. They'll take all these towers that are on the shelf. So put them into the play field for us. For us to have a chance of winning it. That is awesome. And uh, we got two more gold dice, two white dice. And we got the $50 chip. We'll get to turn that in at the end of the game. They'll take all the stuff that's fallen down in the banker slots. They will put it all into the play field. Depending on how much is down in there. They could just, you know, scatter it all across the play field, or they could build it into a pretty good sized tower. It all depends on how much stuff we lost and other people had lost down there in those uh, banker slots. So anyhow, uh, lastly, we got the Mr. Money keychain. This right here could be worth $1 all the way up to a billion dollars. So we got that to look forward to. But anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and turn in the $5 chip and the four $1 chips. And uh, we'll get right back to it. Stay tuned, y'all. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. 
so I uh, turned in that five dollar chip and the four one dollar chips. They gave us two thousand more quarters, and they took all those towers that was on the blue shelves. They put them all into the play field for us. So wish me good luck, everybody. Hopefully we can knock all this down and make an absolute fortune. Yeah, we're losing some stuff to the blue shelves. That's all right though, because we got that. Uh, $50 chip we'll get a turn in later on and they'll reset the blue shelves for us whenever we're ready to turn that in so oh nice there we go we got one of them towers to fall into the payout chute already that is awesome we're about to get a whole bunch of dice as well oh yeah look at that that was a remarkable push right there wasn't it that was a good one also heck yeah this is doing really really well today and I can't remember if I told y'all this earlier. I told y'all about, you know, that employee putting those two dice in his pocket and just walking away and pretending like nothing ever happens. He actually ended up getting fired for that once the manager seen it. Now uh, the owner, the owner was not having it because there's already, you know, too much, you know, stealing and stuff like that going on here. Like the employees try to keep customers out of money. The managers tried it before. I honestly don't even know how the manager's still here, honestly. But, uh, anyway, there's a lot of stuff that goes down like that here at this location. So the owner was pretty furious about it. And he uh, decided to fire that employee right there on the spot for doing that. Once he found out about it, anyway. Oh yeah, we're about to get both of these towers on the left and the right side. One on the left is going to go, I suppose. Come on, nice push. We did lose one white dice to the blue shelf on the right side. Oh nice, look at that. We just got it. That is incredible. So now let's try to get the one on the right side. Oh yeah, I'm seeing tons of dice down there. We're definitely winning a lot of money today. Oh yeah, nice look at that. We got that humongous tower to go. That is incredible. Oh yeah, this is doing absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, we're gonna get that white dice on the right side, I'm pretty sure. And uh about to get some five and ten thousand dollar chips. Now white dice is about to go, you all, pretty sure it is anyway. So just in case you didn't know, um, I mean I done told y'all the $50 chip, we get to turn that in, they'll take all the stuff that has fallen down in these banker slots, they'll put it all back into the play field for us. But anyhow, the, all the money that falls down in there goes to the owner. It goes into this ginormous like Tupperware box, and that's the owner's money right there. It's the owner's collection box. But sometimes we'll get real lucky, like today we'll win the $50 chip. And uh, basically they put all that stuff back in here for us to have another chance of getting it. Oh yeah, nice. We got 50 grand or so on the right side there. Let's try to aim for this uh, 10,000 bucks remaining on the left side here. So anyhow, how's the weather where you all are at? Has it been getting like a little bit colder where you all are at? It's definitely getting colder where I'm at. Like today, I actually had to put the thermostat on heat this morning before I, or while I was getting ready and preparing to stop by here and play. And I had to turn the heat on and stuff. Yeah, when I get back home, I'll probably switch it back over to cool and stuff like that. 
the air conditioner. Calls like, I think it's supposed to be like 70 or 80 degrees today, so. But I must say it's definitely getting a lot colder now, you know, compared to June and July and stuff like that. It's getting real, real cold. I mean, it's September the 6th or the 7th. I think today is the 6th. Now let's try to get this 10 grand out of here. There we go. So we got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely amazing. So now it is time to go ahead and turn in that $50 chip. And the casino staff will take all the stuff that's falling down in there. They'll put it all back into the play field for us. They will also reset, you know, that gold bar there, the chips there, and that dice right there. They'll put it into the play field somewhere. A lot of times when they put the dice in there on the $50 chip round, they'll put the dice in mystery bags or something. Mr. Bags of their own, so uh, anyhow, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, y'all. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I uh, turned in that $50 chip, and we called the casino staff back here. They took all that stuff that had fallen down in the banker slots today, and they put it all back into the playing field for us. So it looks like there was no dice down in there, but there was definitely a lot of chips and gold, so somebody else had definitely been playing on this machine the day before I got here because there's $25,000 chips and $1,000 chips, and there was definitely not any of those, you know, in the original setup for this game right here, so. Now anyway, wish me good luck, everybody. Hopefully we can win every bit of this out of here. And I asked them what that Mr. Money keychain was worth a while ago. I just forgot to tell you all what they told me. Uh, they said it was worth a hundred and thirty grand today, one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. So that's a really, really good amount right there. I'm really, really happy that you know it was worth that much. It's absolutely phenomenal. And just so you know, the white dice will multiply the value of that keychain as well as the chips and the cash. So that's how that works. So let's see, there's a white dice approaching the edge right here in the center, the center right area. And we're about to lose the gold bar to that uh, banker slot on the right side. That'll be okay. I mean, it's technically bonus money anyway. So if you think about it, I mean, even if we win just a couple of chips out of here, it's still, you know, extra money. I'll take it no matter what. And plus, that gold bar will go down in there for somebody else to win later on whenever they win the $50 chip. If somebody ends up winning it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that gold bar is like stuck in between the banker slot and the play field. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that to go or not. That's wild. Yeah, one thing I've noticed over the past few days, there hasn't been nearly as many special chips or like earbuds in there that get us free bonus towers. I don't know what that I don't know what that's all about, but I haven't seen the ten dollar chip in there in a while. It seems like lately they've only been putting the fifty dollar chip in there, and it's not been loaded up too good. So I do apologize. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if we need to start doing larger buy-ins or. What? We might try like a $50 million buy-in tomorrow or something like that and just see how that plays out. Alright, let's see what all that does right there. I didn't mean to drop the basket of uh, quarters on the floor that hard pretty noisy I'm pretty sure it was for me I don't know if it picked it up on camera but I do apologize if I was loud to anybody
Uh, we're about to get this last 25 grand and uh, we'll be set. Come on, 25 grand, you can do it. Fall on out of there. Yeah, sometimes the last poker chip will always be the most stubborn to fall down. It's just because there's no other weight like anywhere in the play field. The quarters are going to try to move around, you know, the remaining item that's in there. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely fantastic. This has been a brilliant game today absolutely brilliant so now i'm going to go ahead and call the staff back here they will put all those dice and uh, gold that we won on the pusher shelf right there like the gold dice and the white dice that's what i meant to say did i say gold i don't know i'm just distracted right now i got something i have to go do after this but anyway uh, they'll put all them dice on the pusher using our quarters we got to roll them down to the lower shelf and uh, whatever numbers are facing upwards, that's going to multiply our winnings and our goal by that. So let's call them back here. We'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here. They put all them dice on the pressure. And uh, they put the dice like further back, more further back than normal. Like normally they pile them up on the edge of the pressure there. But see how those are like further back there? So that's might increase our chances of losing some of those dice. Because it's like by the time we get that one back there, or those back there to fall down to here, these might end up falling over this edge here, and we don't want that. If any of the dice fall over the edge or down the banker slots, we we'll lose them completely, so. Anyway, wow, this did absolutely amazing, look at that, except for the two ones there. I believe we ended up winning 12 dice in total today. Yeah, eight of the white dice and four gold dice. So uh, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and count everything up. I multiply our winnings and our gold ball that right there, and I'll let y'all know what we ended up winning today from a, a $25 million buy-in. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. You all are not going to believe how much money we ended up winning today from a $25 million investment. This right here, you all, is absolutely unbelievable. I am absolutely shocked right now. I was not expecting a win like this whatsoever. This is absolutely fantastic. So we ended up winning $13,479,240. That is the poker chips, the cash, and the value of that Mr. Money keychain all put together. The white dice today totaled up to 30, so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 30. And in total, that put us up to $404,377,200 grand jackpot win off of a $25 million buy-in. So that means we profited $379,377,200 today. Honestly, I don't even know what to say you all. This right here is an unbelievable, massive casino jackpot win today. So be expecting a very, very large buy-in video tomorrow. I'm really going to try to, uh, you know, like make a large buy-in video. I'm going to tell them I want to do like a $100 million buy-in or something. Or I'll tell you what, leave me some comments down in the comments section and let me know what type of buy-in you'd want to see tomorrow. Like could be a $100 million, a billion. Just let me know what you want to see down in the comments, and uh, I'll take that into consideration. So, anyway, if you enjoyed that win right there, be sure you leave a like on the video. That was outstanding. And the win doesn't even end there. On top of that, we won 14 ounces of gold, and the uh, gold dice totaled up to, I believe it was 18, so that put us up to 252 ounces of gold. Spot price of gold is 2430 an ounce, I suppose. So that means we got $612,360 in gold. I will take it. And uh, needless to say, last but not least, we ended up winning, I believe it was like 2,304 quarters. Yeah, that's what it was. So let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount. It means we got $576 in quarters even. So anyhow, that right there is not bad, not bad at all for a 
$25 million buy-in. So if you all enjoyed today's video and you want to see more like this one, uh, be sure you leave a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post bell notifications, that way you get notified for future videos. And if you want to check out uh, yesterday's video, the most recent video on my channel, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. If you want to subscribe, that will appear at the top right. If you want to check out a video on the second channel, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And if you want to subscribe to the second channel, that will appear at the top left of the screen. So with all that being said, I will see each and every one of you all on tomorrow's videos. You all take care and have a magnificent day, everybody.